From Middle Caicos, it's a short plane hop to my next destination. At the end of the Caicos chain of islands is the remote and arid South Caicos. South Caicos is the first island to build an airstrip and it's the centre of the salt and fishing industry. In order to preserve the abundant marine life here, an environmental programme is being run to monitor the impact of tourism on the Turks and Caicos coral reefs. Oh yeah, this is not like it, yeah! But it's not all about island hopping and jet setting, and that's why I'm out here with Dr Steve, who heads a unique environmental project that monitors the local marine wildlife. Dr. Steve works for the School of Field Studies, the premier institute for global environmental research. Development has boomed on the islands, with apparently no concern for the fragile ecosystem. The main focus for the research is to preserve the mangroves that offer protection for thousands of species, and the most important being the endangered lemon shark. What is the biggest culprit of killing off the environment in this area? Tourist developments. You're building a hotel and you want to clear out the mangroves, you want to make a nice area for tourists. Tourists don't want mangroves, they want white beaches. Yeah. So we dredge or, or cut down the mangroves to build a marina or a channel yeah. for our boats. Or things like those big monstrosities over there. Yeah, it's, it, it needs to be done sustainably. Uh, things like this yeah. can cause uh, a drastic impact. In worst case scenario, you're going to lose the fish in the shallows, which means there's going to be no more to move out onto the reefs as adults. Well, the ironic thing is, is uh, people come here for the marine life, but the hotels could destroy all that. There could be and nothing And then, so left. you come here, there's nothing here. It'd be like a dead island. They're right to the roots. Yeah. The first stage of the research is to lay out a static neck, and apparently we're trying to catch the dangerous lemon shark. And this is strong enough to keep sharks in, is it? Yeah, for these juveniles, uh... And they're, they're, they're reasonably docile. They're not aggressive at all, huh? Um, well, they do have a, a bit of a mean streak to them. They can do be they? a bit bad-tempered. Um, Christine uh, can certainly tell you about that firsthand. Why, have you been munched by one? You're still here, though, huh? I have. Wow, no. Just a small kiss. <sighs> oy, 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 oy. How big was it? And done all that damage? Yeah. But I'm not being funny. If you're down the bar, that's quite a cool story, isn't it? It gets some good, goes, yeah, oh, how'd it gets you get that? some good stories. Ah, nothing's just a sharp <laughs> bite. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. OK, is that a splash over there? This is the moment. Oh, yeah, I can see it in the water, there. Eh? Wow, look at that. He's just got his nose caught on the net. Yeah, fantastic. I'm amazed. I didn't even see it. You've got, like, old shark eyes. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, it's like a mini shark. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, tiger. Keep that away from my leg, yeah? Yeah, no I know problem. what you're trying to do there. We... <laughs> so we're just going to put her in the boat. That's amazing. Did that look at me and then go like that? Or was I just making that up? That was a smile. <laughs> Once the shark is settled, Steve measures the length and weight and sexes the endangered species for their records. So if you want to um, record... Oh, right, yeah. Sorry, I was just information playing for us. with the shark. So the pre-cordal length is uh, 58.2 centimetres. 58.2. That's the tag, is it? Yeah, this is uh, called a PIT tag, passive integrated transponder. So it doesn't send out a signal that you can hear, but you scan it when you get the animal. Uh, and every time you catch it, you'll scan it and you'll get the same number. OK, so now the tag's in, yeah. we'll scan it with this reader. What do I press read? Yeah, press read. And there we go. Wow, that's the number. Yep, so Attack. next time we catch the shark with this number, we'll be able to take its measurements and we'll be able to measure its growth. Wow, see how that's it's amazing. Growing. Quite impressed with that. Back to see all the buddies, yeah? Yep, we'll uh, gently release her and let her go back home. Yeah, brilliant. There, oh, there she goes. See you in a couple of years, yeah? Let's hope so. You better be here. Man, that is beautiful. The lemon shark is the top predator on these reefs. And if it is lost, it will indicate a catastrophic breakdown in the ecology of the area.